Hey guys, good morning, it's Tony. So, you know, before I start the video, if you guys can please give me a like, subscribe, and comment. If you guys have any TA that, you're gonna, that you want me to do, please drop it in the comments below. I actually had somebody yesterday request coin, so I'll be looking at coin after I look at the SPX and the NASDAQ and maybe a little bit of crypto. Um, so if you want to, if you want me, if you want to look at, um, <clears throat> if you requested it yesterday, it was a YouTuber, I forgot your name, and I think it was Mach Macho Man. Macho Man, bro, if you um, if you want the, the, the TA for coin, go all the way to the end of the video <clears throat> i should probably have it around the end of the video because i'm going to talk to i'm going to talk about spx the nasdaq the dollar crypto a little bit and then probably do all the ta requests all the way at the end so you can fast forward it if you want if you just want to look at coin um but first i'm going to go through uh the, the sp or spy really or the spx and then kind of get an idea of where i think we're actually going to go um so right now i don't want to say i'm bullish today yesterday um i said that we were going back to around the 399 398 ish level that's exactly what happened we actually did end up hitting the 398 so that was pretty cool i ended up cashing out yesterday i think like 65k which is pretty awesome um currently right now i do have <clears throat> i do have more shorts um and i'm actually running very low martingale right so i actually have one like 0.01 lots and it just kind of shows that you know it, it's really just about scale right it, it, anybody can do it but yeah um <clears throat> cashed out of everything yesterday i'm back into martingale shorts even though we're gonna have a four hour bull trigger here soon but we did actually end up closing a bear trigger on the daily right and what is it there's a lot of stuff going on here and, I'm, and, I'm, and i apologize but um what is a bear trigger on the daily right recently historically we haven't really done much right so bear trigger is you have this little green dot and the stochastic is at highs so what happens here is <clears throat> you usually go for around maybe three days or three candles before you see a pump to the upside, right? And right here, one, two, three, pump to the upside, right? And then one, two, three, pump to the upside, right? And then you have one, two, three. So I think we have today and tomorrow um, of, of, of downward push, of a downward movement, and then we run um, to the upside, right? But if before tomorrow we actually end up breaking this trend um i think that's the beginning of the 374 right so you guys know i'm still pretty bearish um still not still not very bullish to the upside especially with the you know with the macd getting absolutely ready to close a bear trigger on the weekly and again every single time we close the bear trigger on let me get rid of these arrows and stuff um today i am looking for a lower high just to give you guys a really quick example today i am looking for a lower high of 404 so again we're still on this downtrend it's a minor downtrend i'm looking for a lower high at like 404 ish if this breaks you're probably going all the way back to like 407 406 point 469 406 407 something like that right right but that's only if this trend breaks so i can i can see two different scenarios it does look like you have some pretty weak uh, bull momentum so you know there's a couple of things that can happen right you actually you do this you go straight down and you break trend today or <clears throat> which would be awesome because that's exactly what i want or you can do this you can run to whoops mm. this is december 2nd december 6th yeah like something like this you can probably run to like 40 for somewhere like that and then come back down like this or you can break this and then go like that go up to here and then do something like that and then do something like this there's a couple a lot of things that can happen right and push up like that so very much a lot of things that can happen i i gotta wait till the one hour closes man because it's kind of weird it's not really doing much you already have some pretty weird resistance i mean look at this on the two hour you're pushing sideways if i had a guess i'd say we're actually going to break this trend today right if i had to guess i really don't think this this movement happens i really don't think this movement happens up here i think we we burned out on the bull side and i think right now it's just going to be straight down right so i think at most today uh, my range would be 404 I don't know, man. Today's kind of hard because it, it, it can definitely be a lot of, you, know, you have a low there, you have range here. I mean, really, if you break under this, uh, under 398 or so, you're going to break trend and this is the beginning of going down to 374 and then later to 340, right? That's that's the real beginning, right? Um, the last time we had it, uh, a two-hour VC on the low side, I mean, what's we started like right here, so around this level. And you actually ended up pushing down from you know 402 
down to 392 so ten dollars right so i can definitely see us going from like around what is this 400 for 400 to 390 yeah so this two hour right on the vc can definitely push us all the way down to 390 so as of right now i am leaning more towards the bear towards the bear side i um i do think at most we'll see 404 today and then drop all the way back down um at, at, at this point because you're on this high range right now right you've been trading sideways on this range i would be shorting this 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 whole thing from 404 to like 401 i'd be shorting this whole thing if you break this to the upside and go to like 401 402 i would probably you know take the l right but as of right now I, I'm, I have to I have to sway more towards the bear side to be honest because you actually you close the bear day you close the bear day today, you know you close this you close the bear day yesterday. I think you know after a while you, you know it, it's gonna be hard. I mean you already broke this previous uh, support right? Yeah, support on the stochastic at around sixty eight seventy, and it already broke. Chances are you're actually headed or you're starting the descent down to the twenty level on the stochastic. So. If I had a guess today, I'd say I'm still pretty bearish towards the downside, and I'm just piling on more shorts. Once this once this two hour closes, I'm just gonna pile on more shorts. And, I, and look at that, you keep rejecting, right? Keep rejecting off this level. So actually, do, 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 trade point five, and then SPX, right? Trade, trade. Point five, yeah. So I'm gonna open more shorts because I think that's just what's gonna happen. <clears throat> and then I'm testing these Martingale shorts on the on the lower end just because it's just that's just you know trade point oh one. It just goes to show you that you know my you know my strategy works even on smaller like you know what I mean like all the point one. You can look, look at that right. All the point oh one, point oh one. You know everything I'm getting. I'm getting charged swap fees, but even even on the point oh one um, lots, like you're still you can still do really good in profit at least a couple bucks a day. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> yeah, dude. <laughs> if I had a guess, I'd say we're probably coming down. If we look at the Nasdaq, more than likely the same thing. Yeah, it's 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 really the range is going to be the exact same for the Nasdaq, so it's it's going to be the same thing, and and it definitely looks like it's going to keep coming down. So top of the range, I'll see up here again. If you break above like, you know, 11, 8, 45, 8, 50, I think we're going to keep pushing. But as of right now, I'd say short all of this to the low side. It just, it looks like, it looks like we're just going to go down pretty hard. And I'm going to be, and I want to be on the winning side of this, right? So I, like I said, at most, I do think that you'll see 404 today at most, right? At most. Um, but my scenario is we actually just either trade sideways and down or just down. I actually think we're we're going lower and this trend might actually break today. Um, so with that being said, we can now go into actually coin and, and what I think is going to happen with uh, uh, with coin. So I actually had Macho Man comment yesterday. He's saying that he can he can definitely see coin back at like a four for like a 58, 61. I really don't think that's going to happen. I don't think I need to do too much TA on 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 coin. Um, I, I really doubt that it's going to move up. I actually, I would actually short all of this on coin. I actually think I'm actually pretty bearish on coin. I, I think coins going to, um, personally, I think coins going to like $18, right? When, um, uh, maybe in a couple months, but I, I do think that coin is going down to around, uh, 18 bucks, <laughs> right? That's just me. Um, don't need too much TA. I mean, last time you're actually at a perfect entry. You, you have divergence all over the place, right? So you can run divergence from here to here, right? You have a significant price difference of 78 to like 50 bucks, right? So you already have uh, divergence from this stochastic to here. You close the bear trigger yesterday, right? Or actually you close it at 1030. So 1030, 1130, 1230. 630 so you might actually uh so you i think you have like another two hours before this closes but i think this is the kind of the inevitable right i mean every single time you've closed the bear trigger right you close the perfect entry here right so you went from highs highs whatever to lows <clears throat> in a week you jump that much again highs two before you had a retrace and it's like a significant retrace like here right 22 bucks so yeah i'd say in the next week or two you're going to drop another 17 to 22 dollars so let's go with it let's go with eight days out right i would 100 percent be short coin right now eight days out eight days out eight trading days out and then we'll do like a like we'll do a 17 percent drop just because we don't want to there you go yeah so i'd say in 
There you go. So that would be my forecast right now. I'd say in the next, you know, by mid December, um, I'd probably say that your that coin's gonna be dropping to the range of like thirty two twenty nine or so, somewhere between here and like a twenty dollar drop. So we'll do there. We'll do we'll set a thing there. We'll come back to see if there's any. Oh wait, there's actually no structure because it's never been this low. Yeah, I think you're probably going to like thirty two bucks. Somewhere around this area is gonna be your next level. You're gonna drop down here to like thirty two, thirty five bucks. You're probably gonna trade sideways, and then you're gonna go back up to forty four, or you're gonna drop back down lower to like twenty bucks, which is where I think we're gonna go. So. There's a forecast for coin. <clears throat> really don't think it's gonna go up. I I, I would 100% keep shorting here. Um, I, I think it's going down to $32 in like two weeks or so. So I would probably be I would probably be full short on Coinbase right now. It just seems extremely likely. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Have a great day. And if you guys stayed here this long, um, remember join the Patreon. I teach you guys how to do all this on my Patreon. There's a bunch of videos on there where I teach you guys how to trade. We have a we have two we have a stock chat and a crypto chat going on and you know people on there are making a pretty I like to think are doing pretty well so you know have a great day and bye bye.